Hi, and welcome to the Lance Camper booth here at the Tampa Super Show. My name is Gary Conley, National Sales Manager for Lance Campers. Um, I'd like to just talk to you really briefly about you know, our truck campers and what they do. It's a different segment that most people aren't uh, familiar with. The great thing about a truck camper is that we refer to that as actually Class V, which is class versatility. The reason for that is, is that most people who buy a truck camper, they want to haul something or tow something. So this allows you basically to tow all you know your boats, horse trailers, quads, um, whatever it is. So it's a very versatile product. So as your activity changes, um, you don't need to really change your use of an RV. Um, it also allows you to basically remove the camper, as you can see right behind me, um, set it on the ground, and it's fully usable. Now you have a vehicle that you can actually run around town, go sightseeing, and things of that nature. The other great thing about owning a truck camper is that you have the versatility of having a two-wheel drive or a four-wheel drive vehicle, gas or diesel, either way. So once you basically get to some place and you want to use your vehicle, the removal of the camper is really easy. It's all done with a remote control. So you literally just push a button, all four jacks lift, you lift it about an inch and a half above the truck, remove four tie downs, unplug it, and you're gone. Most people can basically remove and set a camper in seven minutes or less, um, or you can take your time and do it a little bit um, longer than that. The main thing is, is that the camper is fully functional anywhere. Um, so if you're thinking about going to BLM lands, uh, national parks, Alaska, um, places that are kind of off the beaten path, a truck camper will get you there. Um, in terms of size, a lot of times you get to bigger campgrounds, national campgrounds in particular, uh, things to consider is, is the length of the vehicle. Um, if you look at a, most state-run campgrounds and things like that, um, you know, size matters. So oh, getting inches, into a 20-foot okay. okay. space, you can do that with a truck camper, so whereas when you're going with a 40-foot motorhome, it's, it's really difficult to find camp spots. So if you're not a planner or you're planning your life out six months in advance, um, having a truck camper gives you the versatility basically to camp anywhere, anytime. So it's a product really to be considered. Um, so if you're looking at a Class B, Class C, Class A, um, this is a product basically that would uh, do the same thing. Also, if you're towing a trailer, the beauty of a truck camper is you don't have to take two, two vehicles uh, to, for your activity. So as an example, um, if you have a boat and you're towing a trailer, well, it's two vehicles, not exactly good quality time uh, with your family. So when you think about everything, you get the convenience of a, of a truck and a vehicle that you can use as a daily driver, and then you could be a hardcore RVer on the weekends if you so choose, or the week or the month or the year, um, if you're so lucky. So if you want to turn around, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, walk you through some of the product. Okay, the first thing, as I mentioned before, it was um, on the truck camper, basically, is how you remove it. And you'll see uh, this is a remote, so everything is done with the remote. So in order to basically activate the jacks, you can hit all, and if you push the button, it will actually raise and lower the whole camper just by the touch of the button. Um, you can also independently uh, level the unit just with the touch of the button. So if you need it on the front right, front left, whichever it is, it's all done by this. Also, all your slides are work from a remote. So gaining access to this, uh, basically just um, pull the remote out, touch a button, activate it, and then run your slides in and out. Uh, real simple, real easy. So the removal of the camper is real easy. Um, we do make campers that fit on um, like a 1500 series truck, a five foot bed to a six foot bed. Uh, we make campers that fit on a 2500, 250 series truck, um, long bed or short bed, so a six foot or an eight foot bed, um, up to a 3500 and you 450s, 550s, etc. Um, all could basically handle the campers. Depending on the weight, um, that's going to determine which vehicle um, you're looking for. One other tip about buying a truck camper is that um, if, you haven't, if you haven't already purchased your truck, uh, you should really come to see which camper fits your needs first and then match the truck to it. Um, sometimes you might go out and purchase the truck and might not have the proper GVW, meaning cargo capacities and things, and at that particular time, you might be limited to a model that might not be one of your choice. So if we look up here, um, what you're gonna see is basically an awning. And um, the cool thing about this awning is that um, this is a carefree latitude. Um, if you've ever camped in, a, in some situations where you have fire pits, maybe there's a tree or things like that, most awnings you have two arms that come out and they have to extend eight feet. With the latitude awning, you don't. It can come out four feet, three feet, so you're not impacted. In this particular case, we 
park the camper real close to another camper here at the show. And by doing that, um, we're not impacted by anything. So we can also get a longer awning. As you can see, it extends down further down the wall to give you more shade because you're not restricted by the arms coming down. And the third thing that's a real benefit is it's not a head knocker. So you're not walking out of a door and then whacking your head um, on an awning arm. Um, there's also hurricane straps that are available for this with, well, with legs. So if you've got in a situation that you needed to have poles come down and strap it, you can do that. There's also a wind sensor on it. So if you forget to um, put your awning back, um, the motion will actually retract the awning automatically. When you're doing remote camping and things of that nature like we do, this is something to really consider. Okay, some other things to consider when you're purchasing an RV is, is the what ifs that happen. And sometimes, you know, you're not always prepared for that what if, which is the, you know, the, the snowstorm that hits you, you can't get out of it, um, rain, cold weather, freeze, um, or extreme heat even. Um, so it's really important how a unit is insulated. What we do basically is a four season certified unit um, so you can camp anywhere. So in this particular unit, we have all thermal pane windows. Um, we have a ducted heat system. So um, what, what that means is that your furnace, when you turn it on, we actually have up to eight ducts that are actually strategically placed throughout the unit. So there's one in the living area, one in the bed, into the bathroom, there's one in the main living area, down across all of your holding tanks, both your fresh, your gray, and your black water tanks. Um, it's really important that basically you heat all of these areas because if you're using a heat pad or something, what happens with that is that um, you know the tank might be fluid, but if the valves are exposed, uh, there's no way basically to evacuate the tank. It's kind of like a cork in a bottle. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of great wine there, but you can't get to it because you don't have a corkscrew. What we do here at Lance is that uh, we pinch roll. Um, which is basically sandwich construction on all of our walls. So all of our units are completely aluminum frame um, as well as studded. And the beauty of that too is that it also works it with, with heat. So it'll keep you a lot cooler inside here um, as well. So the efficiency of your air conditioner and whatnot um, is, is really a, a value to you. Um, speaking of that in a truck camper, there's things that um, people don't realize are available. So we have a built-in propane uh, generator that's on board. This allows you to basically when you remove the camper you're not reliant on either gas or diesel because um, you're using propane. It also um, burns cleaner, it's quieter because it's not carbureted and the third thing is, is that if the camper sets you don't have to worry about a gummed up carburetor so there's less maintenance to it. Um, we also have solar panels that are built onto our units um, that are roof mount. Uh, we've been using solar since uh, 1985 um, our plant is actually a very green plant um, in that we have solar panels even on our factory uh, to produce energy. There's a lot of natural light that we use um, in the units as well as we provide insulated hatch covers within the four season package. So when you're basically getting into a Lance camper, it's something that you know you can camp anywhere and uh, use the product. The only two items that uh, wouldn't be able to be used without the generator would be your air conditioner and your microwave or your or your convection oven, which is also an option um, that is available. But all your TVs and things like that on Lance products, they're all 12 volt. So if you boondock and you want to watch a movie, you don't have to run a generator basically to see it. You don't have to get into expensive inverters and more batteries and things. Speaking of batteries, there's two batteries that are installed on the camper. Um, you can use your truck as well to charge it, so the alternator will actually charge the batteries, your solar panel charges the battery, as well as if you were plugged into 110, um, that would charge the battery too with a smart charger uh, that's built in through the converter. So those are just some of the highlights of the units here. Um, if you pan through the unit, um, which we'll do here in just a second, you'll see that we have um, you know new countertops that are inside the unit. Um, and the beauty of the countertop is that the countertop is completely sealed. Um, along the back edge and so if any type of water or food were basically to spill um, it won't go inside of a groove and blow up the countertop. Um, so that's a real important feature um, that's in here. One other thing I, I would like to just finish with on the Lance product is, is that um, we remove all the formaldehydes um, within the unit so when you walk inside here you don't have that odor um, that's here. Uh, we use an underlayment which is called Asdale within the walls 
and that product basically is a thermal composite um, which helps us for lamination, uh, gives you a smoother wall, but the main thing is, is that it, it removes your formaldehydes. So when you get into a hot type of situation uh, like we are here in Florida, um, what will happen is that you know your eyes start to water. People that are sensitive to uh, you know allergies and whatnot, uh, we remove basically all the carcinogens out of the unit. That's one benefit of buying a California built uh, product. So I hope you've enjoyed our little uh, presentation here and I look forward to seeing you at the shows. Please visit our website at www.landscamper.com.